forensic art. Sister Lucy Truth consulted Lois Gibson, one of the world's foremost forensic artists who holds the 2017 Guinness World Record for most identifications by a forensic artist. According to a 2012 ABC News story, she has helped Houston's police force solve 1,266 crimes with her forensic work. Mrs. Gibson has provided Sister Lucy Truth with three separate comparison reports that, from a forensic standpoint, conclusively indicate the existence of two separate Sister Lucys. From Lois Gibson's forensic reports. Our Lady of Fatima Nun Comparison 1. There is no perfect comparison between the same individual in separate photos. However, it is possible to know when the individuals in different photos are not the same. Due to the various completely different facial structures of individual A compared to B, it is impossible, these are the same woman. 1. The foreheads show much different underlying frontal bones. The superciliary arch of B, protrudes forward much more than A. 2. The noses are a different shape with B, having a larger, rounder, and more downward angled tip, which cannot be explained by cartilage growth. 3. The philtrum, distance from the top of the nose to the top edge of the top lip, is longer on A, than B. The lips on A are thicker and narrower on the horizontal plane than B, with A's bottom lip protruding forward much more than B. Dentures, should they be involved, would replicate the pre-existing dentition and thus not cause such a drastic difference. 4. The horizontal mental indention below the bottom lip is wider on the vertical plane on A, and indents deeper below the bottom lip on A, than on B. 5. The mental protuberance of B, projects forward to a drastic extent far different from the mental protuberance of A, which recedes below the bottom lip. There is no plastic surgery that could accomplish this, nor would it be offered or desired. This author attended dental school and constructed dentures at the University of Texas Health Science Center in San Antonio 1977-1978. In a private correspondence, she wrote that in her professional opinion, even one of these reports would be sufficient for complete confirmation of the existence of two individuals. An email from Lois Gibson. Now, to me, even one of these is complete confirmation. I could have done many more, but sometimes less is more. Any one of the three is conclusive so I sense this is totally convincing. All my best, Lois.